Hi there, um, I want to do a little video um, and this video is about um, unconditional love um, and what it is and um, see the thing about um, life is everyone is just, so when you're asleep everyone is just characters um, in a movie basically. Um, and basically the false self is the experience. Um, the you that you think you are, your experience, your name. Your name is not your label your parents give you, it's, your, it's what you vibe at. It's your vibration, your feelings. That's what, that's what your name is. So you call someone by, by aligning with them. Um, <clears throat> and so the false self is this, this label, this experience. The black, white, Chinese, whatever, um, what you know, it doesn't matter. It's all just you, just your basically your characters in your movie. Um, that's that's basically what this what the false self is. Um, when you have this brain explosion, spiritual awakening, what happened to me was I had this um, brain explosion, spiritual awakening. At the age of 24, and all of a sudden, I knew that to cut a long story short, I'm not going to go into the awakening, but it went basically, it all became me. I instinctively, I shut up one day, I had enough of the way I was living my life. I lived 24 years of my life in hell of blaming everything outside of me, and the awakening showed me that everything was me. And if what happened at that moment was I was, I was a, a becoming the true self. And the true self is everything. It's all one. It's all. It's all each other. But the fault. But pe but till you awaken, you're basically living your life in this dream movie, and the movie all has different characters. And the different characters is the is just the self that you're meant to experience. But when it's time to awaken, that's when you realise that you're all the characters in the movie. You're actually the creator of the movie. You're you're the infinite all. You're actually God, because you're just an infinite state of conscious. That's what God really is, and of course, that's what the awakening is about. It's about ascending to God now and and being that power, and being that infinity. And um, like what I say is probably very strange. And Alan Watts says that in India that it's not so uncommon, but in Britain, it's for what I'm saying about that I'm God and everything it is is very strange. Um, and so, but it makes sense to me why I'm here, because if we, if Earth is going through a shift, it needs someone of that level, of that level of seeing that they're the infinite one, so people can see that, and then so it doesn't become it becomes less crazy, and it's not crazy. Crazy to me is is the false self. Now, unconditional love, um, and crazy also is 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 labeling yourself, actually, you know, and and fighting over your races and 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 saying you're that. It's just a, like David Icke said, just a spacesuit. That's all it is. Um, like I say, I say um, we are the aliens. Human is just a spacesuit. We're all just consciousness, not aliens. We're just just consciousness. But back to unconditional love. Um, the reason I always look there and uh, move that way is because I've got a clock on my iPad. If anyone's ever wondered why I always do that and look. Because I've got a clock on my iPad and checking how much time I can do. I usually do maybe just under 10 minutes. Um, it's because I've got this program that I put the video onto. And it, it sometimes can be funny if you do anything longer than that. So but back to unconditional love. This path has showed me about unconditional love. And people, asleep people, who haven't had this brain explosion don't understand. It's like you can do all the spiritual courses in the world. You can read books on this. You can do courses. But that's not a big awakening yet. You haven't had that big awakening yet. And for example, if I took a book out, if I take a book out right now right now on my experiences, you can read it, but you don't understand that level of perspective because you've not had the, the same experience. So you can guess, but you haven't had it. I could do a course on my awakening. But it doesn't mean everyone's going to get my awakening, right? It's a different thing to experience it, um, and then and that's it. You know, I was meant to have that when I did have it, 
And you can, and how you do have it, like I say, you authentically look at all as you, but authenticity is a very deep thing. And many, you know, I say this all the time to people, but they don't awaken. But unconditional love, what that is, is basically, if I love someone unconditionally, I see all as me now. Someone can do me bad, and I still don't hate them. Um, I might hate what they've done, but unconditional love isn't even liking a person. That's what I want to get to you. Divine unconditional love isn't even liking a person. Because it's just, they're just, it's just their character, right? They're not really that person. They're in the false self just now. They're in the asleep self. Right? So, unconditional love is wishing the best for that person. If I'm in a marriage or a relationship for 10 years and I've all of a sudden awakened and, I, I, and I'm unconditional love, I want that person to move on. That's unconditional love. Wanting that person to move on and understanding that they're not that character they're playing, even if they're doing wrong by you. Even if someone is trying to hurt you, it's just the character they're playing. Right? If someone tries to hurt you, basically what that means is basically... That you're reflecting at them unhealed parts within them. And so they're responding to that unhealed part. That's why people hate certain people or dislike certain people. It's because um, their unhealed parts are being brought out. And this still happens to me. This still happens to me. And But I'm very quick now to notice. I'm like, okay, this is my unhealed parts. And then I pay attention. Right, they're just characters in a movie, Sean. They're just characters. Right, and that's including anyone that, that doesn't like me or, oh, I'm really terrified about it. I'm really worried about people not liking me. Um, because I'm just going to be myself, you see. I'm not going to pretend anymore. Don't ever apologise for being you. Be yourself. Because it's easy to love light. But we must learn to love people's dark sides. That's real love. That's real love, that. Um, that's a level of deepness that we need to get to. Um, and so, so yeah, um, that's all we are, just characters in a movie, um, playing a part, until you awaken, then you become the true self. The true self is the one infinity that is. It's everything that you see. And this infinity, of course, has an experience of duality, which creates the separation, which creates individuality of lives. Um... And that's it. You know, I, you know, and that, that's that. That's just basically what um, we are. Um, and so, that's unconditional love. It's wanting the best for. If you are t wanting um, attachment, is not love. That's like a mental problem. Attachment. When you're attached to people, and you want them in your life all the time, that's nothing to do with love. That's to do with. Um, it's like needy, and it, but it's not love at all. Love is wanting the best for others. If I love someone, if I love a woman, I want the best for her. And if I'm there, great. If I'm not, if it, it's, it's you. It's all about you. And that's unconditional love. It's me not needing anything in return. Right? Lo love, love, real love is a love of giving, not receiving. That's what unconditional love is. Right? It's like... I've been in situations around my family where they don't understand my awakening and yet I'm still giving. That's unconditional love. When you're giving, you're still giving. Even though they're, they're trying to stop your light, you're still giving that. That's unconditional love. You're giving even though people are, are like, um, it's hurt, you know, they, they don't want it, basically. Because they're not, you know, and you're still trying to give. I understand that, you know, I'm the only person, including my distant relatives, that seem to have had this experience. I haven't seen anyone else making these kind of videos um, that I make, talking about the things I talk about. So that's just it. And obviously that, that is for a reason. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to end it there. If you're watching, you're meant to watch it. Everything falls to divine order. Thank you much for watching. Thank you.